Web.com is a popular web marketing company that owns several different companies like Register.com, OneShoppingCart.com, which I use, and Network Solutions, just to name a few. Web.com offers a couple options for getting a website created, and if I go to their website now, I see two main options. We build it for you, and then the do-it-yourself option. In this video, I'm reviewing the do-it-yourself option, which is basically their website builder. I signed up for one of their website builder accounts in order to do this review, and the price at the time was $1.95 for the first month, and then $22.95 per month after that. Once you have your account, you're able to go to web.com and log in. And once you're logged in, they take you to the business center, which is a simplified version of their old business center where you can manage domains and email accounts and your websites. And this is what the site builder platform looks like. If I go back to what they call home within the site builder, it's a control panel where you can add sites and they actually give you four websites within one of these accounts. So the first step when you create a new website is to choose one of their design themes. The ones on their sales page currently uh, look pretty dated. These ones are a little bit better, but they still you know, look like templates from a website builder. But they are a little bit more modern with some advanced graphical elements compared to some basic templates that you might see with other website builders. They do have the designs divided by industry. You see I'm in animals and pets. There's automotive, beauty and spa. So it looks like there's 15 or so categories. So I believe there's a couple hundred templates to choose from currently. And you can also start with a blank canvas or one of their simple layouts and then build it yourself. So I'm gonna go back to the home screen and click edit for this top site. And for this one, I already chose the design, so it's already started. So on this page, you can see what the actual website builder or what they call site builder looks like. This is where you're actually going to build your website with web.com. So I've chosen this theme, so a lot of the design is already complete, but you can scroll around and change text the way you want. So if I were to click on one of these text boxes, I can select the text and change it to something different. And then within any of these elements, whether it's text or an image or something else, once you click on them, you'll see a number of options on the right-hand side. So since this is text, I have a bunch of font options, alignment, and lists, and spacing. And if it were a box element, like this colored box, I can change background color, border, I can radius the corners, add a drop shadow and padding, and change the transparency. So they do give you a lot of ability to customize text and box objects. So I'll show you the process of adding a new page and adding some content elements to it. So I'm going to click on Manage Pages, Create New Page. I can choose from some page templates like Home, Contact, Services, About. I'll just click About, click Next. They give me a few options to enter in like the page name and some search engine optimization information. I'm just going to click OK. Now I have my new page on the left. I actually had to pause the video here because normally you would go to manage pages and click on one of the pages in order to switch to it, but it's not working for me here. I'm in a Chrome browser, so I actually had to switch to a Firefox browser to test it out, and it is working here. If I just single click, it is changing to the other pages, so you know, that's a problem there. It's not supported in that browser. Or there's some kind of bug right now. So. I'm in this Firefox browser. If I click on the About page, the new one I created, there's already some information in there. And again, you can click on the text and change it. You can just delete items by clicking on them and pressing Delete. So I'm going to go through these items on the left here just to show you the different types of elements you can add. So if you had a blank page here, you can go to Content and add empty text boxes and just type text in the box. You could easily drag them around. You can add paragraphs, which is basically the same as an empty text box. I can add an article, which is just a text box with a heading 
And I should mention that this website builder has been pretty slow as I review it. I have a pretty fast connection, but I'm having to wait 10 seconds for some things to load from going to control panel to website builder. Obviously, I'm pausing that for the video so you guys don't have to wait for that, but it has been pretty slow. You can add bulleted lists, testimonials, navigation menus, and empty boxes which can be used as design elements throughout your site. The next section on the left hand side is images and you can add images from their stock gallery or you can upload your own images. This is kind of a nice feature of their website builder. They do have a lot of stock images. So if I was to type dog and click search, I'll see a number of images that I can use and you just drag them to the screen. And I'll just show you real quick some of the options they give you for adding shadows, rounding off the corners, adding borders, and that's pretty ugly but it gives you an idea of what you can do with these options on the right. Now this is a good time to mention uh, rulers and alignment because you can see I'm dragging this around there's no real way to make sure that they're aligned at least how the settings are now but you can go into the builder settings and you can turn on a grid you can have items snap to the grid you can also turn on a ruler so I'm going to turn all that on and just see what it does and it doesn't seem to be working when I click apply nothing happens let me try that one more time. Yeah, and that's broken too, so I can't show you how that works. But usually when it works, items will snap to a grid and, and probably allow you to align items to each other. But obviously I'm having some trouble here with the website builder even in two different browsers. So problems like that are obviously going to slow you down. You're going to have to try different browsers or contact support and uh, see what they can do for you. But it's probably just a problem that they need to update in the site builder itself. So if we go to the next area, it's called media. And the only thing they really give you there is the option to add a YouTube video. And all it really is, is an HTML embed box. So all you're gonna do is click it. Looks like you have to double click on it. And you would add your HTML embed code in the box here. So I actually copied an embed code from a YouTube video and added it there. You can see the video shows up. You may have to drag the box to fit the video to the right size. The next section is called Apps. And there's a map in there, custom forms, a search box, and HTML snippet, which is actually the same as the YouTube object we just added. So just to show you what the form looks like, I could drag it to the screen. You can see already I kind of am starting behind because i got to resize it to fit. And if I go over to the right, I can click on form to check my form submissions. And it says you can click here to update your forms. And that's going to take you to another editor where you can change your form. So I'm not going to go into detail on this, but I'm going to cancel out of that. Just wanted to show you that you can customize the form. The next section is social. And they just give you the option to add some Facebook and other social links. Also like buttons, Google Plus share buttons, and they have some Twitter, LinkedIn, MySpace, YouTube, and Pinterest. So if you were to click on one of these, they allow you to just add your Facebook URL or for a like button, you can just change the look of it a little bit. Then the last item on the left is documents where you can add documents like a PDF, or a Word document and you can easily add it to your site. So I went ahead and added a PDF and if I just drag it, it looks like it creates a download link for your visitors. So they could just click this and it'll download the PDF that you uploaded. So that's the basics of creating a new page and adding elements to the page. One other thing I'll mention is as you add content to the page, you may find that you need to stretch the page vertically and the way to do that is by grabbing these little handles here 
and dragging, but it gets kind of weird because you you have the, the body of the page and then you have background boxes. So you need to drag all of them and it can get kind of messed up because you're gonna have things overlapping and there's no way to make sure that everything is lined up except for just visually looking at it. Other website builders would automatically add vertical space as you move down the page, but this one gives you a little bit of extra work because you gotta manually drag all these bars and it doesn't always work the way you think. It's not very intuitive. A few other things I should mention in the site settings. They do give you the ability to change the background color. You can change the background image from some of their preset images or upload your own image. And when you're all done with your site, you can preview it in the browser or click publish. I'll go ahead and preview it so you can see what the live site looks like. This is just my about page, which I didn't really spend much time on. But you can see what I mean. As you stretch the page vertically, I didn't spend a whole lot of time on it, but I have a little bit of a sliver of the background image showing through, which you may or may not want. But that's going to happen as you drag out the page vertically. And I'm not sure where my main navigation went, but let's go back and see how easy it is to add that. If I go back in and click on where the main navigation was, that's just a colored box. So I may have deleted the navigation by accident. The best way to add it back would be to go to content and scroll down to horizontal navigation and just drag it over that box. And the way to change your main navigation, I believe, would be to go back to manage pages and then you can drag around to change the order of your menu navigation. So now if I hit preview, it'll take me back to the live preview and now I can click through the different links and see the different pages of the site. Including the awful page that I just created just to show you how to drag different elements to the page. You might wonder what these pages look like on a mobile browser. And the only option they give you for changing the mobile site is by clicking this add mobile. But that requires you to sign in and upgrade and then I think they give you a mobile editor. Uh, I'm not reviewing that in this video but I may review it in the future. So that's as far as I'm going to go reviewing this web.com website builder. You can probably tell from this review that I wouldn't recommend it highly. I mean, it's okay. Uh, for the price, $22.95, you can find much better options for website builder. Uh, and the fact that even during this review, some things were not working in different browsers is a major uh, negative. So I can't really recommend it. I, you can check out some other details on my blog post associated with this video. I have some other details on there that I didn't cover in the video. You can also link to some of my other website builder reviews to find out which website builders I'd recommend above the web.com website builder. And also make sure to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future website builder reviews. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.